What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today we got another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to get custom fonts on your Galaxy S23 Ultra. There's a lot of questions about this. It has changed a little bit since last year, but yes, it's still possible. You may notice that my phone looks a little different today. This is actually my everyday S23 Ultra here on the left. This is a test device that I bought specifically for tutorials like this, where I wanna do something from scratch, but I've already done it on my personal phone, so I can go through all the steps with you guys. So today, my beautiful everyday device will not be joining us. Will be put to the side here um, and we're going to use this one so i bought a couple for this purpose uh, so we're going to go through that custom font tutorial before we do i want to remind you guys that if you did just purchase a galaxy s23 ultra and you want to save some money on your wireless you can do so by switching to my partners over at mint mobile mint mobile has premium wireless starting at just 15 bucks a month you guys can get any of their plans they got plans for every need in terms of data size and price four gigs a month for 15 a month 10 gigs a month for 20 a month 20, 15 gigs a month for 25 a month and unlimited, which I think is the best value for $30 a month. All their plans come with unlimited talk and text, nationwide coverage, and also mobile hotspot included as well. It's very simple to switch. You can just sign up with an eSIM or a physical SIM if you wanna be old school. They'll also send you out a physical SIM tool so you can pop out your old SIM, slap in the Mint Mobile SIM and let the savings begin. I've been using Mint Mobile in numerous of my phones for the last five months. I have great service here in the Phoenix, Arizona area. I know if you guys give it a try, you're going to love it as well. Many people have taken advantage of it through my channel. And right now, if you go through my link, go to mintmobile.com slash Springer. It's up here. Also in the pinned comment and description, sign up for any three-month Mint Mobile plan. And I will send out a phone case of your choice as a thank you to you. Any case, including a UAG case, speaking case, whatever case you want for any phone, not just the S23 Ultra, as a thank you for signing up. Again, go to mintmobile.com slash Springer. Also in the pinned comment description, and I appreciate Mint for being partners with the channel. So let's go ahead and get into the custom font tutorial. I did this last year. It has changed somewhat, so I want to go through the steps. There's one extra step that you have to do. So, of course, you can get custom fonts for your phone. I just want to mention this up front. By going into the regular settings and going down to display, you can actually scroll down and change the font style and size and everything in here. Now, your phone comes with a default font, but there's a couple of preloaded alternate fonts, Samsung One, Gothic Bold. You can change those, or you can also hit download fonts, and it'll take you to the Galaxy Store. You can download additional fonts. Now, there are some free Samsung ones like Cool Jazz and Rosemary and Choco Cookie. Those all are free Samsung fonts you can download. But there are also several paid fonts, and if you want those, of course, they're gonna cost you a few bucks a piece. A lot of people don't wanna spend the money for extra fonts, so there are apps where you can actually get a whole bunch of these for free. Now, I will say with the caveat, this app is paid if you want to remove the ads, but you can use it with ads for free and still get tons of fonts for free. So the, ad, the app we're talking about, which I used last year to do this tutorial, is ZFont3 Emoji and Font Changer. It's in the Play Store, highly reviewed, over 10 million downloads. Uh, some people don't realize that it doesn't work, that it works with One UI 5, so they got some negative ratings. It does work with One UI 5, even though it doesn't say that explicitly, it does work. So we'll show you how to do that today. Now I'll link this below, go ahead and install it. And uh, then we're gonna go ahead and go through the full setup process. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Um, now I, again, if you want to purchase this, if you search for ZFont3, uh, when you purchase it, there will be the option to get the ads remover. You guys notice that I have the ads remover. So if you purchase it, you can go ahead and install that and then you won't have ads. I, I don't like ads, so I choose to do it, but it's entirely up to you. So when you open ZFont3, it's gonna tell you about its terms of service. Of course, I encourage you to read this. I wouldn't install an app or tell you to install one if I didn't trust it personally, but you've gotta you know, make that decision. Obviously, it needs some permissions in order to change the font, so you gotta grant some permissions to it in order to do that. So if you go in here with install unknown apps, you're gonna to have to go ahead and change the permission for ZFont3 to do that, Again, over 10 million people have used it. It's been reviewed by a lot of different Android experts, YouTubers, blogs. I, mean, I, I trust the app. I don't have a problem installing it myself. Now you can scroll down and find a font that you like. You know, there's a lot of different ones to choose from. I usually like to choose something in the stylish category. For instance, um, something like, I don't know about that one. You can get Comic Sans if you want to get really crazy. Here's Google Sans. Here's a very nice one, that you, a popular one that you might want. So you can actually preview what the text is gonna look like up here, how the font's gonna look when you change it. Uh, and then you can go ahead and download the font. So you can say allow, it'll download it, and then you'll have the option to apply it. 
Now, because I want you guys to be able to tell that it's obviously working, I'm going to try a completely different font, one that looks a lot different so you can see that it worked. Google Sans is a little too close to Google to Samsung One. So let's download this more interesting one called My Type, clearly different than the one I have. Then you're going to tap Apply, and you're going to choose from the bottom where it says One UI All. So tap on that. It's going to take you through the steps. Now you have to do these prerequisite steps once, and then it'll allow you to go through and then not do them again when you want to change your font. So we're going to install Samsung Sans. That's the first thing. This is why you have to allow it permission to install an alternate app. It basically uses the Samsung Cloud backup option to do this. So you're going to install this first. You're going to change your font to Samsung Sans. So change it to Samsung Sans. Then we're going to go back. We're going to go to your Samsung account. Make sure your Samsung account signed in. And then you're going to, so you can see it's there. Now you're going to go to backup data only settings. So we're going to go here. We're going to only choose settings from here. And then we're going to go to backup now. Only the settings. It only takes a few seconds because we only backed up the settings. So you can tap done, go back. Now we're going to uninstall Samsung Sans. So it says, do you want to uninstall this app? Okay. Now we're going to install my type Z font. So this is the font I chose that I want to change to my custom font on my S23 Ultra. Once again, we hit install. It's blocked by Play Protect, but again, this is something, it's an unknown app, so it basically wants to block it because it's not written for Android 13. I'm going to tap install anyway. Change the font back to default. And then restore your data. So once you change the font to default, go back to restore only the settings. So once again, we're going to go to restore from my S23 Ultra, the one I backed up just now, and I'm only going to restore the settings. Now, here's where people have had problems. People have been trying to follow my tutorial from last year, and they have a problem um, because now they notice that this doesn't actually work. The font hasn't changed. It's supposed to change the font after you do the restore. Here's the thing. With Android 13 and One UI 5.0 and 5.1, you have to do a restart of the phone. So I actually haven't set up my single button press over here. I just got this second S23 Ultra. So I'm going to hold down and I'm going to go ahead and restart the device. So the phone has just booted back up and you guys can see very clearly my clock font there is the new font that I changed. So is my widget. See all the titles there. If I go into something like Chrome, you'll notice that there in the search bar, we've got the new font. Everything is now in the correct font. If you go back in here, all my settings are now in the new font. You can go in all the submenus. All the new font is applied throughout the settings. So you can see clearly this does work. You just have to restart your device after you do the restore like we did last year. So there is one new step, but you can still get all of these 200 plus fonts for free with Z Font 3. Still works perfectly fine. Obviously, I'm not going to keep this font on my phone. It's not desirable, so I'll change it later. Not a huge fan of it, but I wanted to show that it worked so I could choose one that's obviously different. Now, keep in mind as well, this is really important. There are some apps where this font will not apply. Apps like Twitter and apps like Gmail do not allow fonts to be applied from the system font. They have their own font style. So if you go into something like Gmail, for instance, let me just make sure I don't have any super personal emails here. Let me go into my spam folder. If you go into Gmail, you'll notice that it is not applied here. So my font does not get applied inside the Gmail folder. That also happens in Twitter. There's really nothing you can do about that without rooting your phone, which is unfortunate, but that's just a fact. That's true on all Android devices and Samsung is no exception to that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, check out the link in the description to download ZFont 3 and go ahead and try this out yourself. Again, if you guys are interested in getting some premium wireless starting at just $15 a month 
and also a free phone case for me by, by switching to my partners at Mint Mobile. Go to mintmobile.com slash Springer. Sign up for any three-month Mint Mobile plan. Get in touch with me on Twitter or via email. I'll send you guys out that free case of your choice. Appreciate you guys checking out this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.